Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Mr. Morell, would you, can you speculate or how do you feel or the reasons why we have not uh, been able to uh, bring the perpetrators to justice? Um, Congressman, it's a very good question. Um, it has been eight months since I uh, left my job as deputy director. Um, so I have no idea what the status of the investigation is. I have no idea what the status of CIA support to that investigation is. So I really can't speculate um, on where things stand. It is really a question for the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Well, to, to my colleagues on the other side who think this is some kind of a witch hunt, the reason we're pressing is because we don't have retribution. We have an ambassador and and, and American heroes who were killed, who were brutally murdered, and we, we're getting bureaucratic, whatever you want to call it, about why nobody can take responsibility. We talked to the FBI and they've got one version, and I know this isn't the CIA's job, but to anyone who wants to know why this isn't going away, that's the reason it's not going away. I want to see them brought to justice. I want retribution. I would pull the switch if I could. This is outrageous. That's why the American people are upset. That's why this committee is not going to let it go. And that's why most of the American people, I get this question more and more and more. And we get on talking points and we get about who said this and with the station chief said that. And the bottom line is that we've got people running around who killed Americans who are sipping Mai Tais or whatever they're sipping and we can't do anything about it. And that's why I don't think we should let it go. I don't think why the American people should let it go. And especially for the memory of those heroes and for everyone else in the CIA. And, and, and my, excuse me, Mr. Morell, you know you've been there for so many years. You've seen brave men and women put their lives in harm's way time and time again. Is this what we want to send the message to the rest of those people who are out there on the front lines? that all this time can go by and the United States of America can't bring these thugs to justice? I just think it's wrong and I apologize and I yield back. Mr. Congressman, I agree with you 100%. There is nobody, there is nobody who wants to bring these guys to justice more than me and you know why. I know that and I appreciate it. But the problem we've got is that we can't get anybody in this great United States of America and this government with all the, with all the resources we have to bear, we get, we get all kinds of stories about why this can't happen. Now, if it was a month later, if it was two months later, we might say, okay, there might be some reasons why, but this is a long time. This is a long time. And I think we send a message to anyone else who wants to pull this kind of a stunt that, you know, maybe the United States isn't so serious about all this. And I don't blame this on you, but I, for anyone who's wondering why this is going on, this is why it's going on, and this is why it should never be let go until we get to the bottom of it. Yield back. No apology necessary.